beautiful bull. He's not doesn't have very wide horns, but the bosses itself, those front areas of the horns, are really thick on him. As well as physically, he's quite a strong bull. He must weigh a good 800 plus kilograms, 1,700 or so pounds. I heard actually a few days ago we saw this group as well. Actually, not a few days ago, yesterday. And this one that's going to walk out just now, it's going to give him a few seconds. We spoke about him quite a bit. He's not the biggest bull yet, he's not very old yet, but he's got awesome horns. We'll have a look at him in a second. This guy we're looking at now is a mature bull. He's probably 10, 12 years old. We'll just go a little bit right. The next bull behind him, that guy there. You can see physically he's not as big yet. He's still sort of got a slightly longer leg look. But he's got an awesome, awesome set of horns. I think give him another three or four years, he's going to be a, a bull to reckon with. You can see his horns are so big, even when he goes and stands behind the bush, you can't you can still see it. Oh, look at that, he's scratching his head against the tree now. Ah, moving on again. This is the rest of the Dugger boys. last two to come across the road there at the back end of the herd both of them also really big bulls really between 10 and 15 years old buffalo can live up to about 20 odd years 15 18 years would be the typical age probably out here 20 25 if they're really sort of strong and healthy individuals it's sort of from eight years older eight ten years and older that these bulls really get to be in there sort of physical prime when they weigh eight between 800 and a thousand kilograms it's up to about 2200 2300 pounds for really big bulls Some serious heavy guys not to be messed with sun just through the trees there. I thought I saw something. He did, but it's uh, one of those log somethings. Stretch of certain areas either north, south or east, west through the reserve. We did have big fires that can occur now in the next few months about October or so is a very high sort of afternoon of this morning still can see some logs smoldering we'll show you one just now see down the bottom there 
sort of blue smoke. And as you know, some of the wood species or tree species out here, the wood is incredibly hard. And the big log can sometimes smolder for uh, anything up to a week or two even after the fire. Other times the wood is hard enough that it doesn't even burn. If you look at just to the right back from that smoke, there's some dry wood there. It didn't even catch a light. As much as this looks a bit harsh, it doesn't really sort of permanently damage too much of the habitat or of wildlife. You can see it's all black now, but all this grass will shoot out again in the next few months. As soon as the first rains come, this will be nice green grass, as do most of the trees as well. They'll just make new leaves again. Most of the animals that live here, they either go underground in burrows if they're small little guys. Or your big animals obviously just run away or crawl away or fly away or do whatever they do to move to get away from the fire. Of course, the major benefit, if you do get a way down for the evening drink, watch them for a while, see what behavior they have, might clean their horns a little bit, and then we'll get back to the vehicle soon.